How's it going everybody? And welcome back to my channel. My name is Peter. Today we're doing what I love to call is more than I should have. So basically the name of the game is that we take our signal chain and add the same effect as many times as we can. In this case, we're doing compression, which I was able to do 22 signal blocks. But before we get into it, I wanted to figure out what the definition is of compression. 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 Okay, cool, well, at least I'm saying it right this time. Last time I did reverb and it's reverb. Compression is the action of compressing or being compressed. The reduction in volume causing an increase in pressure, the sound, the decibels. I feel like that's not the best word of compression, but whatever. Let's get into it. Let's add as many as we can just to hear what the end result sounds. So just like I mentioned earlier, I have 22 blocks here of shit. So Helix comes with five different compressors, so I have a mixture of all of those throughout. Sure, you have, if you're doing this to play around as the Helix, make sure you have your path set to the second uh, signal so that you have all of them working com uh, completely and that all of these are before your amp in your cabinet. So I'm using the US double reverb and uh, so since all of these are off, this is pretty much what it sounds like naturally. So very nice clean tone and I'm pretty much just gonna keep adding on and commentating throughout just to hear and the differences of what's gonna happen from playing through. So let's check it out. So first one. So the idea of compression to me is basically when you're taking your, let's say for instance, your pick attack, how, how you are using your velocity of how you're playing, it helps reduce that or amplify when you're, let's say you're picking not so hard. So it brings up the volume and it brings down the volume and it, e it evens out your playing or you can use compression for singing as well. So let's just jump ahead and let's add the whole entire top half here just to hear, oh, you can already hear, oh my gosh, some of the white noise already, so. So let's just jump out of there because it makes such a white noise. What I'm noticing is it obviously really is trying to reduce my pick attack, very, very much so. And it almost has like this, you know when you take something and it has a reverse effect, so it's fading into something, but very, very quickly, uh, if that makes any sense. So let's, uh, let's add the second layer. This is pretty interesting. That really helps the resonation of when you're holding out a note, probably because it's, like I mentioned, when you're playing softly, it likes to uh, bring out the, the volume, the decibel out of that, so it, it raises it up. So probably it's, when you're playing so softly, it's so sensitive and it's picking that up. It helps heighten your senses of your pickups. And so I can hold a note out for probably four to five times longer than I would have done it without having any of those compressions. So that's pretty amazing. <laughs> uh, on to the next one, next row.
such a weird sound coming out. And now I have all of the blocks in working position, 22 compressions. It sounds so weird, man. I don't even know how to describe it. You just have to listen to it and comment below. How, what is the best way to describe what this all sounds like? God, that was terrible. Well, guys, my name is Peter. If you guys like that video, go ahead and subscribe for more because I'm going to do a whole lot more with a lot of different effects. Thanks for watching.